I'm Paula Inglet, and I'm here in my packed up classroom today because I wanted to come and talk to my students about a very special outdoor exhibit that is currently at Five Oaks Middle School. Along with us all experiencing a new part of our humanities curriculum, which is Oregon tribal history and culture, we have something really special at our school. We have a new connection with a museum in our area called Five Oaks Museum. It is a walk-by exhibit that features 10 different Native American artists with their images placed on a yard sign. And then there are QR codes on each of the images. And so after the students have looked at the image, wondered a bit about it, then they can find out more about the artist. So students can understand a little bit about the land that Five Oaks sits on, the land that Beaverton School District sits on. And it was Kalapuya land. Does anybody know what a beaded yoke is? Yeah, I think I think it just kind of goes over the shoulder, yeah. Habe nanana na binesa that nanake hakaji as it hinane na nane. Hello, my name is Brandon Colbertson. I work for the Beaverton School District. It's great to see educators and students alike engaging in this work, amplifying indigenous voices, having students see themselves reflectant in activities and curriculum. It really goes a long way as well as speaks to some of the good work that's happening here at the Beaverton School District so that this work can really take root at the building level. I think it's a very good educational way of saying the school represents its land and where it originated from. The piece that I liked the most was the Guam one because I'm from Guam and I think it's important to learn history because it's where you came from. 